Hi everyone, so um, obviously I'm still recovering um, from my hysterectomy that was last Friday, um, it's obviously Tuesday now, yeah I don't know what day it is, um, so yesterday I kind of went downstairs for a little bit and I got, I cried, um, I've cried once in the three and a half years I've been on testosterone. It's definitely not something I do now or, or even when I'm upset, can cry. So that's one of the things for me since being on testosterone. Um, but I did cry yesterday and my other half, like, was a bit like, oh, uh, you know, didn't know what to do with me. Um, and then today um, I was downstairs for a little bit longer and obviously that was just way too much for me because um, I felt tired, sick and stuff. And my dad had visited for the first time. Um, I'd seen him since before COVID because he lives in Ireland. So obviously I wanted to see him and he came to visit. And obviously that was just way too much for me because um, when he went, um, I just felt really unwell and I burst into tears again Um and my other half was just like, oh, sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd, I'd show you what everything kind of looks like. Because um, obviously they went through the belly button, because I had keyhole. So the camera, I think, I believe the camera goes through there. Um, and then I have two incisions on either side of my abdomen. So I'm just going to show you that. Um, it's a bit bloody in places, so just to pre-warn you. So as you can see, the belly button looks... Um sad and quite sore uh obviously that is the bruise here underneath that yellowness um you probably can't really see it on the camera but it's kind of there's glue and stuff in the belly button uh and then i've got an incision there and then just one there as well which i've got dressings on so that is how they did the keyhole how they accessed everything so yeah so obviously going up and down the stairs or whatever too often is obviously bad i did manage to poop for the first time yesterday because obviously the uh codeine i'm on can obviously constipate you so you know f certain fruits prunes etc can help with that so just you know in case you have a trick to me um, I thought I'd document this a bit because I don't really see many trans guys um, talking about having hysterectomies and the recovery, so I thought I'd just tell you. So that's where I'm at at the moment, so there you go.